when to get a handoff or when to go in for the pin. Tug of war, TNT only, you can come up and stand here or sit, you know, kneel here, okay? You can't come into the circle. That's the only yeah, time gotcha. that we allow a coach inside the square. TNT, tug of war, okay? So you can yell, to, you have no voice, you, your kids aren't gonna hear you anyway, but um, it's a lot of fun. All right, any questions on that? Okay. Balloon volley. There is no balloon volley in track journey. We're gonna talk about agility rates in a second. So balloon volley, again, same thing as tug of war, where we've got, for division two, two heats of younger kids, two heats of older kids, division four, just two heats, don't care what age they are. Um, you can be anywhere in the circle, in that little square, all right? Now, Warren and I always have an <coughs> argument about this, all right? The rules state anywhere in here. So if you're in TNT, get your kids out there as fast as possible so that they can get the position they want. Because once you're planted there, that's your spot. Notice I've got these different colored things here, right? Green is over here, but yet they've got a kid here and here. Yellow, put two kids in the middle. Red's got one here, over here, blue's over there. All of that's legitimate. All right, if you want to put two kids right there, fantastic. If you want to put them so that you're going this way, one kid here so you can knock it to that kid, great. If you want to be over here with two kids because, hey, this kid's like seven feet tall, right? So you want to put all your kids over there, go for it, all right? The sooner you get your kids out there and they get their spot, they, it's their spot, all right? They can't come up to Dave and say, oh, can you move out of the way? I want to stand there. Now, if Dave wants to move out of the way, fine. But I'm going to tell my kids, when I coach my kids, you go out there and you stand in that spot. It's your spot. Now, this thing gets awful when there's only three teams on a circle. I mean, as line judges and, and circle directors, we really don't like it when there's three teams. But we actually did a study one year where, you know, let's say there was no green team. Red team won every time. Okay? Because there's nobody pushing the, the balloon back this way. So that's why we've got to do this convoluted thing, dividing the circle up, all right? Oh, well, that's they, why you have to have a, a three-way rope, too. That, well, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, three-way rope. Yeah, well, as, as tape on, on the things. Um, we do some, we do a white line on that one so we can be able to have that for the, for the distances on that. Um, it's not ideal. We did the five-way, we had the same basic problem. Um, we ran the tape out of the lines to be able to do the best we could on that. One key thing, we record the games up on top, just to go up there and so that there's, I mean, as much as I've gotten like four messages saying, what is this tape going to be loaded up? You think, I mean, they've got like five of them into me at like 10 o'clock at night going, I'm sitting across the table from you. I haven't loaded it yet. Yeah. Yeah, um, one thing that we have discovered, if you are on a team that has the outside door over here, and you take a phone call, don't leave the door open on the balloon games. Mm -hmm. We had a person who was carrying on a very nice animated conversation coming up to there while their team was getting slaughtered because it was blowing the balloon away from them. So anytime a kid's getting close to it, you can see that they're going, okay, well, yeah. Don't you, yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, don't open the doors. So as line judges in that, we're worried about inside the, the circle. physical circle. Yeah. Um, and, and the circle. We're just worried about this. We're not making it a point. Oh, are the doors closed? You know. Uh, so. Yeah, we discovered that also in, in the uh, old facility that we couldn't open the garage door. Um, I, I mean, so we made sure once we realized that was a problem, we made sure the garage door was closed. We're going to put a sign on there if I remember. Please don't open the door during games. All right. So. When we have the, that afternoon meet, if we've got TNT and Trek Journey kids all in the same circle, right? We, we've actually changed the order of the events to kind of match up a little bit better because we, we felt that there was a couple times where um, the TNT kids might be playing a running game and the other guys are playing some other game, like tug of war, and then we, we were spending extra time as line judges and circle directors having to move equipment. So we've changed the order of the TNT games to, to match the order of the Trek Journey games. The only difference is, is that when we come to Balloon Valley, there's no Balloon Valley for the older kids. There's the agility race, all right? Agility race is pins here, pins like, like right around there, I think, okay? And so 
I start here, I run inside this pin, outside, inside, outside, like that, and I come all the way around, then I go and I get to my touch pin. Um, you knock over a pin, you're disqualified. That game is fast. It's awesome to watch, um, but it's quick. I mean, was it like six seconds or something, something like, like that? that yeah. or whatever, I don't know, seven seconds. I mean, I think I could get from like here to there in that amount of time. Um, but these kids are running a full lap. You knock over a pin, you're done with it. You knock over a scoring pin, any anytime there's a scoring pin, that's one, the one of the four ones in the middle, anytime if you knock that over and it's not the end of the game, you're disqualified, okay? So um, so when your kid is, is going around like this and, they, and they, they nick that one over there or something, game over, okay? So they're doing their little looping around, they come around, they go in. Um, Diving is the best way to get to the middle. Are there any questions on agility race for track journey? You guys good? Yes? Are they all running at the same time? So I got, I got four kids. Or whatever it is. Or three kids if it's track journey. Sure. And they're running around there. And if you Sorry. catch the person in front of you, um, good for you. I mean, but they're not out of the game. right? There's no tag out rule. The only time there's a tag out rule is three-legged race. So that person needs to yield for you to go. I don't see it very often where somebody catches somebody because the game is so quick. Um, again, it's a, it's a lot of fun to watch, and the younger kids really love watching your older kids run that game. And if, and if we have the photo permissions, we will happily post that one up on the site from up above. To watch All right, that. so Beanbag Bonanza. Um, you know, team games are like a thing of beauty when they're done right, and they just look like a bunch of kids stumbling around when you don't do it right, okay? And this is one of those games, along with Balloon Relay, that can look impressive, or the parents just go, were they even coached? Um, okay, so you start with the beanbag here, start with the beanbag there, they run out, switch, go back, hand off, right? Kid comes in, switches, do, 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 back and forth. This one gets the beanbag, runs in, switches, goes over here, hands to this guy, and then this player now has got to run around behind, get back over here. Now, going back and forth, switching bags, handing off. Last person gets the beanbag, they run straight in for their touch pin. They don't got to switch it. Okay? And this Keep is what happens. Of the bag. <laughs> bag doesn't end up in the triangle. Like the most common disqualification. It's not in the triangle. All right? Remember that direction of travel thing with the foot? The same thing applies to the beanbag. If this is supposed to be the line, all right, the beanbag is supposed to be here, this is okay, that's okay, that's not okay, because anytime a judge cannot see the line, then you're disqualified. The judge stands right here, so they're watching feet, making sure nobody's leaving early, okay, and making sure that the switch actually happens. Now, hands got to get placed. This is my hand with the beanbag. I place the beanbag on the ground. I don't get here and let it go. All right? You want to go faster? This is TNT especially. Use two hands. All right? Set down, grab. All right? This is a speed game. Um, it has to be placed on the floor. All players go at once and then repeat. Final player just runs straight, straight in and dives for it. Okay. Any questions on that one? No? Good? All right. Oh, it's showing beanbags moving around here. That's very impressive. Balloon relay. Now, this is the balloon relay setup.